Okay, let's see if we can get some of these doors on here. Especially that one that was confusing to not only me, but also to, to others here. Now, I'm going to have this adjusted so we can drop it down. Uh, where are we here? It was on which side? Okay. Now, see if I can adjust this so you can see it better. This is just not the right angle. What's the matter here? Okay, now this door here has got to go. <clears throat> There we go. All right in here. And once again, I think just a little drop of uh, CA medium right on the plastic there. And then drop the door on top of it. That should do it. Now, should that be out just a little bit? Maybe, probably going to scratch it, but. Okay, I th well, it's not straight. Okay, I think that's good. It's as good as it's going to get. Okay, probably about five minutes has passed here. Now these, these other two doors, they go on the underside like this, so we've got to turn this over. And I don't think this is going to fall off here now. Okay, now <clears throat> if, I, if I look at the way the drawing is, it appears that the hinge part of the door goes to the outside. Now I don't see any markings here as to where this is supposed to go. So you just have to sort of use your own judgment. Um, I'm going to put it sort of halfway between this, this uh, bulkhead here and the and the edge here. Um, let's just do a dry run here. Okay, now what we want the hinge to be on the outside. So, uh, I would think something like that right in the middle would look good. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, trying not to get my hands in your road here. That did not go as planned. Um, Just move it out just a little bit here. You know what, I think it's set up already.
I think that's better. Oh, way too much glue. It might be too late to try this, but we'll see if I can get a little bit of, get it wicked into one of Jim's mini Q-tips here. Yeah, it might have removed some of it. Uh, maybe once it's painted, it'll be okay. Okay, I'm going to try and do a better job on the other one. I'm just going to just swing this thing around here. Okay, now remember, Ron, it's not like you're trying to launch this thing. You just want to hold it down. straight. Probably can't move it now. Well, now if you will remember yesterday when we were putting this piece on, I was saying we'd bend our ladder down later. Well, Just using the poking device here. Okay, that, that appears to be uh, touching the deck, or almost. I'm not going to put any glue here. I'm just going to leave it the way it is. There's going to be a railing go from here to here, along this part of the deck. And before we put that railing on, we have to try and get a little ladder placed, almost exactly like that. Um, okay, what will happen now if I was to try and put a little bit of glue right there? I'm, I think what would happen is it would probably stick to my applicator. The ladder would stick to the applicator instead of uh, adhering it in the right spot. So maybe what I should do here, let me get, get our ladder out of the way, is maybe just put a little bit of glue right, right there at the top and uh, then see if I can get at least one little section adhered and then reinforce everything later. Okay, the reason I've repositioned here is so that, once again, gravity will be more of my friend. And I'm just doing a dry run here. I think if I lay this down, the ladder will be almost horizontal. It should want to just stay there. And uh, I think what I'll do is I'll put a little tiny spot of CA just at the top there of the left-hand rail run rail. And uh, I'm just going to have to eyeball this here. Now remember, we don't need very much. Okay, that looked pretty good. Now if I can put the, that rail just into that. I'm guessing a little over an hour has passed here now while I was editing out those first uh, eight or nine minutes or whatever that we just watched. And uh, now if you, when I was looking at that, I was thinking, you know, there's going to be a railing go from here all the way up to here. And most of this ladder is going to be in behind that railing. And I'm thinking if I try to adhere it on, on the deck at the bottom of the, of the rails, I'm probably just going to make a mess. So all I'm going to do here is just try and get a little bit just on the top there. And 
And I think I've already got enough on this one. So no use putting any more on there. I've got to learn to try and use less glue. In other words, just because I can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. Well, sometimes it's not there. Now there are several more pieces that have to go on this yet. The life rafts, the railings, uh, the directors, this part here, whatever that is. Uh, oh yeah, this was also a, a director. Um, and these things here, they, they go on, on the back here. Now in the background of this scene, you're gonna be hearing a little motor running. It sounds a little bit like a lawnmower. I wish it was a lawnmower. <laughs> uh, these davits, they go in these little tiny little holes right here. We need a, a couple of floodlights to go in here. Um, oh, just, just one, one of these directors goes on this piece. The other two are for somewhere else in another step. But a lot of this is going to be painted a different color like the, for instance, the life rafts are already painted and uh, I think one of them mounts, oh that's a porthole, okay one of them mounts right here in these holes in the front and uh, then there's, uh, this, I think the smaller one goes in these holes on the side here but what I'm getting at is that all of this is going to be a different color to the no, other than the number 22 that we're going to be painting most of this. Uh, like all of this will be, will be painted the 22, even the inside of the uh, splinter shields or whatever they call these. Um, yeah, so uh, we're, we're at the point now where I think <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to have to spray this uh, the, with the number 22. And uh, clearly there's going to be places where the spray is not going to get in properly. So my thinking on this is, what I will do is, uh, is spray it, uh, sort of a, a semi-light coat of the 22, then I'll be able to see where I can get with the airbrush and where I can't. Then where I can't, I'll go in with a little tiny brush and, and try and brush stuff without breaking it off, and, uh, and then give it a second coat with the airbrush and it'll uh, hopefully the places where the paintbrush and the airbrush meet it'll sort of feather out and it won't be so noticeable instead of trying to touch everything up after I've done the the final coat with the airbrush now that that's my thinking right now plans may change here recognize these little blocks as going on the turntable. I drilled a little hole there about, uh, oh I think it's a little better than a quarter of an inch in diameter. Just slightly larger than the spindle on the turntable. And then I put these double-sided tape down that you saw me taking the cover off of and uh, I've got a hole poked right in the middle. And The idea is to try and put the place the part as centered as possible on this little hole so that as it turns, it doesn't wobble, if you know what I mean. It stays centered. Now, a part like this that has a little piece sticking out of the center of the bottom, it's uh, kind of easy to, to center it on. But one like this, you just sort of have to kind of eyeball it and just try and get it as centered as possible. And Now, these ones here, um, what I would do is I would look for a, a place like, like right here where the hole is not very big and, and try not to poke it all the way down. Now surprisingly that will stay there. As it, as it sprays, as you may have seen in the past, it will sort of lean one way then the other. But generally speaking it'll, it'll stay. Oops, I poked it too far. I, I might do better on this one here to make another hole just part way in. Okay, this is a 
sharpened toothpick here. It might be, it might be, be too big yet. Yeah, let's just try to make another hole there. That's somewhat smaller. Well, we'll see what happens. Okay, I'm just going to continue on until I get them all on here. Now these pom-pom directors I'm going to want to be extremely careful with. It will be so easy to accidentally break something off or bend this little sight. So when I pick it up I have to be careful where I squeeze. And not get too exuberant when it comes to pressing them down. This double sided tape sticks really well, so a person doesn't need to press too hard. Almost the weight of the part is all that's necessary. Okay. Now for this one. Just get it generally right. It might be a little bit too big actually to, uh, you know, it might be too big to be using on the turntable. It might be better off just holding that button, doing that one by hand, but I'll, I'll give it a try anyway. But uh, as you can see, the double sided tape sticks really well. Okay. Now these little directors here would be extremely easy to accidentally mash down that little delicate sight that we worked so hard to get mounted on there. Even something as light as the cord that runs to the camera would just yank them right off. Um, we're, getting, we're getting closer to being ready to spray here. Okay, XF22, that would be this one right here. And this is the one that we diluted down 33%. I don't think we're going to have to add any more thinner to that, I think that'll be just about right. And um, I'd like to, uh, you know, get at this this afternoon, but on the other hand I, I wouldn't like to because I just don't feel like it. So I'm going to call it a day here, it's getting kind of late anyway. And uh, all being well, we'll see you tomorrow, and thanks for watching.